New wheels, new brakes, new rotors for the front. Project V8 S10 swap is getting some new parts. All right, in this video, we're gonna take a look at these items. We're gonna unbox these wheels for the first time, give you the part numbers for the rotors and the brakes. Hopefully answer any questions about the wheels or any of these items here on the table. If you have questions, please let me know. So let's get started. Let's take a look at this stuff. Hey YouTube, welcome back to 304 Customs Garage. Been on a little hiatus here lately, but I figured we'd go ahead and make a video for you tonight. Show you what we got going on with the Project Budget S10. It's a RV8 swap that we're doing, working on. As you see, we haven't did anything. Oh, I did take that off. That's about all the further I've gotten since the last time I've made a video about this. I haven't been up here much lately. It's been really cold here where I live, and this garage is really cold. <laughs> But anyway, before we get started, I'll show you what we got here for you today. Uh, please go down and hit that subscribe and like button. Or if you don't like it, you could always hit the thumbs down button. Anyway, let's go ahead and open some of this stuff. I'm planning to run a skinny tire on the front of this truck. Um, this may or may not be a good size to run on this, but a lot of people do it. And I have seen a lot of cars and trucks with these wheels with... Hot rod builds. So since it is a budget truck, what we do have here for you is a Jags Sport Star wheel. Now this is a copy knockoff, as you see, made in China of the Weld Pro Star. So I haven't opened these boxes yet to see what they look like. Um, so we'll take a look at it here. As you can see, I am going to run the um, factory size on the front of this truck or as far as bolt circle goes you see it's a five by four and three quarters the back spacing on those wheels is one and three quarters according to this they're polished so let's get this open all right get out of the way i had to go get a utility knife sorry about that let's go ahead and open this up See what they look like. Kind of nervous. Hopefully they're not messed up. But I've bought other things from Jags and not had any problems. The boxes weren't too beat up from shipping, so and we'll uh, go over some of this other stuff here in a minute after we get these. Oh well, look at there. Limited finish warranty. Go up and see that if you want to pause it and read it. Vision wheels. I'm pretty sure that's the same brand that Summit Racing sells. So these should be the same wheels. I think they're just rebranded. I'm not sure who makes them. There we go. So, it's not really heavy. I may check these weights and I'll put it in the description later. But let me see what these look like. Out. All right, got this out of the box. I did get some new camera equipment. I promise I'll use it soon. Sorry to have to put these transitions in the video for you. But let me take this off and see what they look like. Put them back in the box. I do have some tires coming for these too. The tires I'm going to be running on these are 26 seven and a half by 15 Hooser Pro Street radials. So once I get those uh, mount and balanced, I'll put them up here and let you guys see what they look like. Or you can check us out on Instagram. Also, we have an Instagram account that we started. It's also 304 Customs Garage. And there's what you get. There. Well, these actually look pretty nice for uh, budget wheels. I think so. See there. Well, we passed the Chinese inspection. Some more of that. 
Give these a good wipe down before we put them on there. These are going to be our front runners. There. If you guys have any questions, you want to see anything, let me know. Like I said, I probably will put these on a scale and weigh them just to see what they weigh. That looks pretty okay. I kind of like them. I said, I do have actual real welds on another project that we'll reveal later on. But, uh, The center cap. Take a look at that. Jakes. <laughs> yeah, just typical center cap. Aving Gina as well. Maybe get a new emblem to put on there instead of the Jags one. Overall, though, for what these cost, I paid, uh, I believe they're $99 a piece right now. I just got these like this past week from uh, Jags. And I had a sale there and I used the coupon and it would be a little under $200 for the fronts. But. There's that one. Now we'll move on to the back. All right. All right. Here we go on the back. Also, I got the Jag Sports Star. I am uh, running a Ford 8.8 in this budget S10 build. So I kept the Ford pattern um, axles as well, and bolt pattern. So as you see, the bolt circle is different. It's a five or four and a half. These are six and a half backspace, 15 by 10. I hope they'll fit underneath the bed. It'll be close, I'm sure. But I've seen some pictures on a Facebook group that I'm a part of, and these uh, seem to be pretty close to what I'm looking for to get underneath there. These are also made in China, as you see. So let's open this up and take a look at these. All right, we got this sauce out of the box. There's a lot more in there to get than I thought. Go ahead and take a look at this one. I hope these will fit well under there. A little nervous about it. Maybe I should have went with an 8 inch wheel, but we'll try it. And there is the 10. This is also the Pro Star knockoff. It is also a vision wheel according to the warranty card that came in the box as well. These are six and a half backspace on these. As you see, looks like it's a one piece design. It's nothing to worry about there. And we'll have a look there. Yeah, if anybody was curious. Offset. Max load. But I'm happy with them. I like these, actually. I said this is just a budget build, so I didn't go super high dollar on these. I didn't pay a lot for these as either. I believe they were just a little over a hundred bucks, like 110 maybe a piece for the backs. These are, of course, not super heavy, but they definitely are heavier than the fronts. Of course, the different size, but I like them. I hope they look good. I'll have to post up a picture and let you know. I am going to run a 275 60 15 on the back. So these supposedly fit well. I do have these on the other project. It's for a later time, as I mentioned earlier. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to run a radio or like a more of a street tire on the back. It's not going to be an everyday truck, so I may just put a, a drag radio on it and leave it at that. Run it in the nice weather. 
but we'll get some pictures and stuff up of that as well when we get it. All right. Well, let's move on to what these are going to attach to and stuff. All right. Got that out of the way. Um, these are going to be for the fronts. Um, drilled and slotted rotors. They're power stop evolution. The year is the number for these. These are for 93 S10. Uh, may put ARP wheel studs in these. I don't know yet. Like I said it's not going to be a drag truck. It's more of a street truck. But once we get everything fit up, we'll uh, take a look there. Here's what comes in the box. I have opened this already. Let's take a look. Into this front passenger side. Get this out here. Take a little peek at it. Maybe. All right, finally got it out of the bag. Sorry about that. We are definitely going to be using some of our new equipment here shortly for video and this stuff. It would make it things a lot easier, hands off. But overall, uh, sort of typical rotor. The only thing that concerns me about these and why I may run the ARP wheel studs is these seem a little short. Um, I know the factory ones aren't that long either, but I'll have to put them on the wheels. I uh, will test it out and see how it fits before I change them, but I want to put those on there and then have to take them back off. So that, and then the other one's in the box there. There's your number if you're interested in these. So, I figured we'd give it a, a little advantage to stopping power for the street, meaning it's going to have a small block Chevy in it. So, next we'll take a look at the brakes. Alright, we got this out of the brake. These are the fronts, I believe, for the budget S10 build. The is the number here. These are power stop replacement brakes. They are powder coated. So we'll take a look at them here. These are for your average first gen. I'm not sure if there's any performance advantage here. I think they are just basically a factory type brake caliper. Powder coated red. It'd be nice if they came in black, but so that is the contents of the bag. Take a look at this powder coat. Hopefully it'll hold up to the right fluid. Won't rust and look pretty decent behind the wheels. It's not look too hateful. So this basically just looks like a remanufactured brake caliper. Not sure, not sure if it's new. Powder coating looks okay. So. But they'll look better than the rusty ones on there now. I said this is not a drag build, so I'm not going with Will. Wild Woods or Will Woods, or however you say that. Just your typical restoration on a budget. <laughs> I think they look okay. Like I said, I think they'll uh, do okay for what I'm intending this for. There's your fronts. Put that back in the baggie. Then we'll move on to the back. All right, got the back. These are for the Ford 88. There's your number. It says new on the box there. I don't know if they're new. Maybe they're new and manufactured. Baggy contents. And a look at this caliper. Powder coating looks decent. No complaints there. It's already got grease on the little pins. Might be all over my hands now also. But I think they look decent for what they are. There's a little booger there, but it'll be all right. I got these from Summit Racing as well as those. 
I don't remember what the price was, but I do know there was a core charge for either the front or the rear brakes for these. These 4604, I believe, are the rear. So those will be for your Explorer rear end, not the S10, if you're looking at those on um, Summit. That's what you got there in the box. But, well, hopefully we can get some of this stuff installed soon. And uh, I'm going to take the tires, the fronts anyway, to get mounted and balanced um, once the tires come in. They're supposed to be here Monday. Hopefully they will be. I'll take them with me to town to get them put on. And maybe we'll slap that on there and see how it fits. Oh, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments. Please like and subscribe. I uh, hope to make more of these videos now. I did invest in some better equipment, so hopefully I can make better videos for you guys to watch. If you have any questions, though, please let me know. Any suggestions? Let me know as well. All right. Hopefully next time we'll get working on this. Got a lot left to do. Until next time, YouTube. We'll see you.